don't know if that counts as a fact. <laughs> um... Hi everyone, welcome to Tea Time. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. What facts here? Now, I don't know if they're up to 20 or 10. To figure it out, I'll put it in the title below. But before I go on, hello to my new subscribers, my new family. Hey guys, I see y'all. Mm -hmm. I see y'all. Thank you so much for joining this family. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey to enlighten people and encourage people and give them some entertainment one cup at a time right now so i'm going to go into the video okay so now my first fact is i'm an old sister of four now this one you sh you, you should already know i have my siblings on here quite regularly actually three girls and one guy is that i was born on friday the 13th now i don't really believe in all that spooky spooky or oh, you're born on friday the 13th or scary but in school and in college i used to get this Oh, you're born on Friday 13th. Oh, and when I go to job interviews actually and they say mention one really cool fact about yourself, that's the only fact that I can think about that I think people will be able to get and relate to. Oh, so. third fact. If you if you love me, take down this one. You have you have to know this one. This one is I can live on Gary and nuts. Okay, there's three things I can live on. No, two things. Gary and nuts love love Gary and nuts you'll have seen me in one of my old videos having Gary and nuts second thing is I can okay so I can live on Gary and nuts and I can also live on bagel kings crumble and custard have you tasted bagel kings apple crumble and custard ha oh, you know I love apple crumble I love uh, apple crumble I love apple crumble and custard just anyway, but Bagel Kings, I don't know what it is. They put in the cake or they put in the crumble or the biscuits, but your mouth will just be doing mm, mm, as you're eating it. Now that I live so far away from bagel, it's just like, God, I mean, when am I when am I going to bagel again? But the anticipation is building. Another fact that you need to take down if you love me, it is I am a candid lover of Tua Savage. Tiwa is just there, and one day, Tiwa, if you're watching, don't worry, I'm I'm coming for your ass. <laughs> I've I've had dreams that I've met her. Yeah, guys, it's 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 something that we need to discuss. I was born and raised in Nige for nine years. Yeah, I'm five six. Well, I I hmm, like recently I haven't really gone to stand beside the measuring stick to see how tall I am, but I've seen five five people, and I'm not that sure. But then I'm not extremely tall either. I'm the shortest in my house. And that doesn't really help me, does it? Well, and I just said I'm 5'6". Anyway, yeah, I believe I'm 5'6". Another fact, I love my own space. But then the thing is, there are days, there are days, there's, there's method to the madness. There are days when I, I feel like being completely social. There are days when I want to just go out with my friends. There are days when I just really, just really want to just be on my own and maybe watch a YouTube video, watch a sermon, read a book, read something or listen to music or dance by myself or record a video. But then I, I also like being around other people as well. I'm very sociable, very approachable. It's just sometimes I like my own space. Oh, I listen to bedtime stories on this app <laughs> at your age, <laughs> at your age, um, anyway. Don't judge me, don't judge me, don't, no, don't start judging me now, no, you can't judge me, you're not allowed to. I actually listen to bedtime stories on this app called Calm, but they're trying to, they've got like really good bedtime stories, but you have to pay and become like a premium member, that means pay monthly, I don't know what that means, I'm subscribing for free. I eat, oh, woolly jelly, me, I can't eat, eh? My favourite piece of jewellery is the ring, as you can see. You can't really see from this because I don't have, I don't really have a lot on, but I really, really love ring necklaces as well. But I like them more personalized. I like asking questions. Now, it's curiosity to some level. Okay, it's not me being nosy. Actually, you can see it as me being nosy, but I'm not saying no. Call me, call me, man. I'm joking. I mean, their thought process behind what is it they just said or what they've done or even how they feel. I think that's what inspired me to do Tea Time Season 1 because 
I'm going into people's lives, I'm listening to their story, seeing how they plan to develop themselves, what they plan to do, what they're doing, what they've done in the past, how things that happened in the past have affected them. I'm that weird person. This, I enjoy ask questions, how does that make you feel? Another fact. I laugh at almost everything. <laughs> I'm laughing now. Maybe that one was a placebo. Like guys, honestly, I, I I love just the fact that I can go on my phone, my media, and just open these things that make me laugh. Here's another one. You guys will know this one. Very, very particular on the topic of substance. Sometimes it's good because there's not everything in life that you just see and you see just off the surface. Sometimes it calls looking deeper into things, but then sometimes it's not as great because things that you're not supposed to look, it's not that deep titty. Sometimes I have to call myself home and say, come, come, sister, sister titty, it's not that deep. Like, just calm down, okay? Don't. The last one I put here is, I write nice things on my phone to myself. Yeah. I wrote, okay, my alarm, I wrote, Good morning, beautiful. It's another day to myself, from myself to myself. Guys, like, I'm, I'm not lying to you. If no one's your bae, be your own bae. If no one's your cheerleader, my friend, be your own cheerleader. If no one is your, be your friend. If no one's your listener, be your listener. God, your listener. Like, love yourself, man. The one way of me putting into practice the whole idea of loving myself. I write really nice things to myself on my phone <laughs> I send myself encouraging texts sometimes it's even as short as keep going and then I'll receive the notification and I'll smile at my own notification from myself to myself you guys are probably thinking oh so sad because <laughs> even that's what I'm slightly thinking now hearing me say out loud what I just said but own it man own it baby I am owning it Sometimes I treat myself to things. When there's money, I've been treating myself to so much more. I enjoy music. <sighs> I think music, it like it transports me into like different worlds. My family's quite musical. Church, oh, music galore. So yeah, that, I, I guess that's where that's where it comes from. I really love music and dancing. Oh, fire, fire. And I can put up a fire, shackle, shackle. Very caring, very caring, very loving, very loving for the people that I care for and love. I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for staying with me till this time. Here is where I bring the video to a close. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.